Hi guys, it's Janice again. Um, so someone asked me to do a tutorial on how to smooth out a blanket. Um, so here goes. Here's my little twins, which is a recent shoot. This is the this is the final edit. Um, as you can see, his arm is different here. I really loved in one photo how he had his arm completely around him, but this baby wasn't smiling in that photo, and I couldn't pick what I like better, so why not just merge them and then have a perfect photo. He's smiling and the arm is around him. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave his little arm out. Um, so the first thing I do, and again, this is just personal preference, I do like to crop my images first. I have the original, so if they want a different size, I know I can always go back in and recropped if I have to. Some people save an original with lots of space around it. I don't just because I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just don't. Anyway, so here we go. Crop that. This is a little blown out on this side, but we're just going to ignore that, aren't we? Okay. First thing I do is I select my patch tool and anything that's like really kind of harsh, I'm going to get rid of it. So here's my patch tool. And when I'm shooting, Oh, what I just do? That's not good. See, that's why I don't like the patch tool that much. When I'm shooting, um, I do pull the blanket and try to make it as smooth as possible so that I don't have to sit here and do this and, you know. Sorry, that's my phone. That's really annoying. It whistles. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to go too crazy. Ugh, it's, see what it keeps doing? It's super annoying. Okay. Fine, good enough. And then, again, I'm not going to edit the babies. I'm just going to show you how to edit the blanket. Uh, I like to sample a color on the blanket. I don't want to go too bright. I don't want to go too dark. So I'm going to go somewhere right in between. And then I'm going to paint it on. And for this, I don't want to sit here all day painting over and over and over. So I will put it at like 20. 20, 20. I can't get to my 20. Okay, whatever. 21 it is. And what is this? What kind of crazy brush is that? Oh, I had a wrong brush selected. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to paint that on. Painting the color on is also going to blend your blanket. It's going to give that little blur that I personally like on the edges. I'm even going to lift, make my brush a little smaller, lift a little bit of the shadow. I don't love harsh shadows, so I'm going to lift that just a little tiny bit. I don't want to get rid of it completely, but I want to lift a little bit of it. And I'm just going to keep going around. Yes, I'm aware that this is a white vignette, just because it's a white blanket. So The other thing you can do is you can... Um, I have a softening action that I use to blur the blanket, but you can also go to filter, blur, and I guess you can go to like Gaussian blur. Well, I haven't used this in a long time. And I don't, you know, personal preference, how blurry you want your blanket. Let's say you do, uh, I don't know, 5.5. It, it, it's heavy, but let's just say. And then you're going to go. Once this finishes running, see it's very blurry, you're going to go to your history brush. If somebody has a better way to do this, let me know, but this is just kind of how I learned. And you're going to go back to this brush right here, like the step right before, and you're going to put your history brush right in there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to keep my history brush at 99, make my brush bigger, and I'm going to erase, not erase, I'm going to do history brush over their faces, their hands, and the blanket immediately around them because that really in my opinion shouldn't be blurred that's what gives you those ridiculously soft images that I just don't particularly like again personal preference you can make your images as soft as you like and then if I see that there's still a little bit of a mark there I just go back over again with the regular with the paintbrush the paintbrush is still set to that color I'm just going to go back over that and get rid of that. 
and that's pretty much it. So wasn't a real wrinkly blanket to begin with because I make sure it's pulled really taut. Um, but, and you should do that because it's going to save you a lot of editing. If there's like a big wrinkle here going like behind the baby's back, that's going to be a real pain. You're going to be doing a lot of cloning or patch or what have you. And that's just not fun. Um, but selecting a color from the blanket, it doesn't matter what color the blanket is. I just did this on a like mint green blanket and I just kind of blurred the edge with the mint green. Um, I like it. It's, you know, a personal thing that I just kind of like to do to my images, especially, you know, for babies. Um, but that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys.